Paper cut test is、uh, full of bullshit. You know? Yeah. Can you see? It is grain of the paper that makes it look really sharp or not sharp. Have you ever wondered how relevant it is? So called edge test. By cutting these things, does it really tell you? What you need to know? How about this? I never called it test. This is just a demo. So that you can see, actually see, how these things perform. These two knives I used in my last video. So you have seen how these edges work on the fish, which, what these things are meant for. So let's see how do they perform on paper and rolled up towels. They haven't been sharpened since, but the business has been slow. So there is no, there shouldn't be any major difference. I will also throw in some of these knives that I am going to make a video about. TOC knife, tactical outdoor chef knife. I actually have already made one video, nobody really watched it. But I am going to make a video. My channel is not about making money or getting more views or trying to be famous. I just make a video about things I like. Okay, let's try copy paper. Actually, inkjet printer paper. No big difference, but anyway. And newspaper. Sugimoto slicer. Kijima Samoto Deba Takamura R2 Santok and TOC newspaper. Oh no, the wrong. You know, this is why. I te this is why I keep telling you the paper cut test is a BS. Because of the grain of the paper, this can happen, right? But yeah, can you see? It is grain of the paper that makes it look. Really sharp or not sharp. Masamoto Deba, same thing. Paper cut test is、uh, full of bullshit. You know?
So, this one actually. So, what did I learn just now? The outdoor knife edge geometry, this is actually hybrid. You know, it's, this is meant to be tactical. You know, it has a uh, pommel that can be used as a strike weapon. Yet, at the same time, this is meant to be a functional, really functional, not a marketing BS, but a really functional chef's knife. At least for outdoor cooking. Anyway, that's all for paper cutting. Okay, let's try rolled up towels. First, Sugimoto, then Masamoto, Takamura, and TOC in that order. Sugimoto slicer. Tsukijima Samoto Deba. A little bit less than Slicer. Takamura R2 Santok. The reason this one cuts better than these two, this is basically not really used. I only very occasionally use this. Whereas Masamoto Deba, Sugimoto Slicer, they are used at my work every day, every night. And TOC. Just as good as Takamura. The difference is one layer. Not bad considering this is not a dedicated kitchen knife. This one you can fight with a bear. This one, no, you can't. So what have we learned today? Well, we learned paper cut test. That's complete bullshit. Actually, if the tester, you know, the YouTube video creator is showing cutting newspaper in two directions, I mean, you know, along the grain, against the grain, then it may be a little bit more legit. Copy paper, that's completely useless. Bullshit. And towel cut test tells you certain things, but this is actually not the test. I wouldn't call this a test. This is a visual demonstration so that you can see and imagine what it is like. In the real world, these two knives are perfectly serviceable, even though they cut less than Takamura. Just because this one performed better on rolled up towel doesn't mean this is better, more useful than these two. In fact, they are way more useful than this for my working situation. But maybe for you, if you are using a uh, tiny kitchen at the home, then this may be more useful than this. And about TOC, how often do you see a kitchen knife that can be appendix carried? You know, I am joking. Don't take it seriously. And the Sun Brown future, the real reason for this is when you are 
doing barbecue with friends, you can temporarily keep your knife here and do something else. Not for doing appendix carry like this and walk around the street. You know, in California, this is felony. Okay. You may get away with misdemeanor carrying firearms illegally in case of first offense, but concealing a blade is always, always felony. So, you know, you have to know when I am joking and when I am serious. So anyway, yeah, forget about paper cutting test. That's completely useless. I really actually enjoy this knife and I am going to make a uh, sharpening video of this one, which I already recorded. So you may not be interested in this type of knife, but that's probably going to be the next video. Thanks for watching. So this cut is made by Sugimoto Slicer. And then Masamoto Deba. And Takamura R2 Santoku. Uh, next, TOC. This is a collaboration between Jack Carr and New West Knife Works.